welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Allison. Uh, don't forget to subscribe below. And today we're going to be reviewing this bed head blowout freak by TG. I obviously just got out of the shower. So if you guys don't know, I do have curly hair and I recently just cut it. So I figured, I seen this and I'm like, hmm, my hair doesn't really get a lot of volume when I uh, straighten it because I usually use the flat iron and that kind of just like, pfft. so we are going to test this bad boy out. First, I am going to put my contacts in, remove the towel, brush my hair, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? And I'll be back. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> Okay, let's get going. So, as you can see, my hair is almost, no, I can't even say it's almost dry. It's still damp, but it is recommended that your hair is almost dry. Let's open this up. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm sorry. It's going to take forever. The good thing about this is... I can edit. Ta -da! <laughs> See the power of editing. This one is the pink and purple one. So I just plugged it in. And I'm a little nervous. Okay, so this is what the bristles look like. Looks like it's gonna grab my hair pretty good. Okay. Oh, here's the switch. <laughs> scared me. <laughs> I don't know why it scared me. It's plugged in. Okay, so there's two. Low. And high. Oh, it's already warm when it does that. It's pretty, pretty cool. It has a weird smell. know about that kind of smells like burnt hair oh man see how short my hair is now I don't know what the fuck I was thinking I should have just kept my long ass hair okay I'm gonna put it on low for now but I'm really close.
it's really loud. Especially it's way next to my ear. straightening it though. Yeah it is. You think? Yeah. Looks much straighter than it did. Because <laughs> yeah, my hair is curly. But it is volume. It's just not straight straight how I like it. It's not straight like mine. Right. It's still straight. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I got hair everywhere. And it's just my hair falling out. It's not like it's coming out of the brush. Oh, I guess there is hair in the brush. Not a lot, though. I don't know. You won't be able to see it. It's not a lot. It's normal. My hair is shedding like crazy. Okay. here. I cannot stress that enough. It's fucking hot. natural part. Ah! That won't happen ever again. Okay. So. Let's straight. Let's get this frizziness a little bit down. take a break and let you guys know that my hair doesn't ever do this <laughs> it looks like a professional did it let me just tell you that I I don't really straighten my hair a lot but when I do I usually have to do the flat iron afterwards and as you guys know it'll make it really straight but um I kind of like this even though it's doing a little flippy out thing, which I don't like. But it's really not that bad. I'm just going to finish. Had to add that in there a little bit. And it's nice too. You can take bigger sections than you normally would. 
because this thing is so friggin' honking huge. Let me tell you, when I say it's hot, it's hot. I'm not having a hot flash. It's hot. But look at this friggin' volume. I have never gotten this before. And I don't know if you can see it on TV. On TV. <laughs> on the camera. It's like, it's just hanging there. I don't know. Maybe if I do it a different... It's so hard. I have to highlight my hair, so... In the camera, it, I you can't see what I see in the mirror because it's like really dark right there, but <sighs> I need a fan in here. I have so many flyaways. Don't look at them. Look at this friggin' volume, you guys. I feel like I just walked out of a salon. And I don't even have my whole head done yet. I was very skeptical at first of this thing. But I think I'm really going to like it. I got this little section left. And then we will see. Like, was really hot on my ear but I had it on high so that was my bad but I feel like it works better on high on my hair
it's only me or if it's happening to anyone else. But for some reason, towards the end, it got really hot. But I really do like the outcome of it. Um, I'm glad I purchased it. I did have my doubts, so I'm going to go through the pros and cons. So, the cons are, we'll do the cons first. I want to say, I, get, I mean, this is a pro and a con, but one, it's huge. It's huge. But on the plus side, you can grab a lot of hair with it. Um, a con, another con is it's loud, especially when you're doing right by your ear, very loud. And it's hot. It felt like it was burning my ear off. I want to say that it was a little expensive, but it really wasn't that expensive. How much was it? $59.99 maybe? So I guess that's the same price as a lot of the other tools. I know there's a bunch that are very similar to this. Um, this is the bedhead one. So is that all my cons? Oh, another con would be that it didn't get it really straight. And I mean, I understand that it's a curling type of brush, so that's understandable. But it would have been nice to get a little bit straighter at least. But I let me just say, I am very happy with the outcome. So let's see, the pros are, it gave me a lot of volume. <sighs> Look at that. Do you guys see this? No, you probably don't because I don't know, it's just weird in the camera. It does feel like I had just got a blown out at the salon. Is that what it's called? Oh, it is. It's called blowout. It really does feel like I just got a salon blowout. Um, another pro is you can take very large sections. So that makes it go by a little bit faster. You can get bigger sections. You get more done in a shorter amount of time. Um... It's pretty. They do have different colored ones. I think one's like a yellow or a lime green and pink. I can't remember. Is it yellow? I don't know. That one's really pretty, but this is the only one that I got. And I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, I had a coupon. I didn't want to waste it. So that's why I got it there. All in all, it is... A very good product. I definitely recommend it. I recommend it, I think, more for shorter hair hairstyles. Um, if you had longer hair, I feel like it just wouldn't give you that volume that you would with shorter hair. As you know, you know, hair weighs down. So uh, when I had longer hair, I felt like it was just always limp. There wasn't any volume to it. Sorry, I keep looking in the mirror. It just looks so good. I just can't believe it. And I haven't done, I think maybe some of it has to do with the fact that I'm wearing makeup too. Because I haven't worn makeup, I want to say in over a month. When all this Corona shit happened. I have two kids. One of them is in first grade. The other one is a two-year-old. So I have my hands full, plus a house, trying to upkeep the house. I feel like I need to find a clip or something. Let's see, oh, I got a bobby pin. I think it would look really cute. Oh, how precious. My husband's gonna come home and be like, did you do a YouTube video? <laughs> yeah. It's the only time I ever do my hair and makeup. I got to get out more. Anyway, back to this thing right here. Oh, it matches my shirt. <laughs> um, For my hair, I feel like the, um, the high works better than the low. I'm not really sure why because my hair is like, it's not very thick or coarse or anything. I don't know, my hair is just weird. So, all in all, out of five stars, I would give this a four and a half. 
The only setback is that it's loud. It gets really hot at the end and it doesn't um, straighten as much as I want. And I feel like that shouldn't be a con because this is for volume and not um, straightening, but I don't know, like my hair is curly. So I feel like any kind of drying product should make it a little bit more straighter. I'm pulling all the hair out and it's not that it pulled it out at all. These bristles are very comfortable. They don't pull your hair. It's just my hair just falls out a lot. And I guess the fact that I really haven't straightened my hair in over a month, my scalp is like, hell yeah, keep going. Shedding is good, right? I don't know. My husband doesn't have any hair, so can't ask him. Oh, oh. Okay. I think I'm good with this review. So that is it for this. And this is the... Ah! There was almost a casualty there. This is the Bedhead Blowout Freak. Oh, there you go. And I do highly recommend it. Um, just buy it and use it. If it doesn't work, just return it. <laughs> Anyways, see see this curl right here? Here, let me move this. And I know people with shorter hair know what I'm talking about. But how do you get rid of that? Comment below. Let me know what I gotta do. Because I feel like a little girl when my hair is flipped out. I don't care about this part because... I'm constantly going like that anyway. Now that my hair is done and my makeup is done, I feel like I need to go somewhere. <sighs> Where am I gonna go? I gotta get my son from daycare. Uh, I think this is the last week. Oh, Lord help me. Trying to do the homework with my daughter. Ugh. I am not a friggin' teacher. I don't know how the hell they do it. I give them props. That is me tapping, by the way. <laughs> I just realized I was doing that. I think did this whole entire video. Okay, that is it. I am done. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. And please, 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 for the love of everything, please subscribe to my channel, please, please. It would help me out so much. It would give me the motivation of keep doing videos in general. Please subscribe to my channel below. Please, 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 please. And please give me a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Woo!